Hey, thanks everybody. Uh, okay, a whole pile of people spent 30 bucks to come and see a depressed stand-up comic. <laughs> name of a really good narcoleptic racehorse down at Hastings Park in race number three. <laughs> Boy, punch I should get my camera. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I do suffer from depression. Well, actually, I have depression. I'm told it's my wife that does the suffering. <laughs> Every day, I'm told it's my wife that does the suffering. Now, my therapist tells me that I suffer from what they call them is cognitive distortions. And I said, ha, ha, cognitive distortions. She says, well, it's simple, really. You just, you hate yourself. And I said, well, that's not entirely true. After spending weeks in your office and, and a small fortune to hear the freaking obvious, I kind of hate you, too. <laughs> And I recently learned that one cognitive distortion I have is that I tend to blame myself for things that are not entirely my fault. Man, I wish somebody had told me that before I allowed myself to give testimony in that stupid tax fraud thing. <laughs> he did it! Hey! Hey! That guy! He, he did it! Man, prison food sucks! Over, my, over the years, you know, my depression has led me to self-medicate. That's not a good thing. But there's a lot of that going on. You know, back in 2007, okay, in British Columbia alone, the tax, sales tax on alcohol in BC alone was over $205 million. That's huge. I mean, I'm not saying I spent a lot of money, but my corner liquor store, it does have a lovely brass plaque outside with my name on it. It says Platinum Donor. <laughs> yeah, I quit smoking too. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, quit smoking. They say within two days of quitting smoking, your nerve endings begin, begin regrowth. Your, your ability to taste and smell improves greatly. I said, yeah, tell me about it. Man, that petting zoo was delicious. <laughs> yeah, I'm a carnivore. <laughs> when I was self-medicating, I used to get into trouble sometimes, you know. I mean, I did things, I, you know, I shouldn't have done, but in my defense, whenever I was out drinking and drinking a lot, I would always, always take a cab. The embarrassing part was when I sobered up and tried to give it back. <laughs> yeah. They say one of the symptoms of depression is that you lose interest in things which used to give you pleasure. And I know, for me, that's true. And for me, it was things like, you know, playing guitar, or, or baking cookies, or having a discernible pulse. <laughs> <laughs> I once tried to kill myself, but you know, I, I just couldn't do it. And you know, mostly, it was because of my dog. My dog. Every time I get the bloody noose tied, she wouldn't stop playing tuggy with the damn thing. <sighs> I was once told you can't make jokes about suicide. You can't do that. I said, yeah, actually, I think I can. Yeah, I got about 10 minutes before these pills really kick in, and this next one's pretty good, actually. <laughs> And he said, you know, people who commit suicide have a special room in hell reserved especially for them. I said, hey, buddy, I got six roommates in a two-bedroom house. I look forward to the upgrade. Come on. 
I used to smoke pot too. In fact, you know, I once tried to kill myself by smoking weed. I smoked an entire ounce in half an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't die, but you know, hey, that petting suit was delicious. <laughs> It's true, you know, alcohol and drugs can get you in a lot of trouble with the law. I mean, huge, huge trouble with the law. And I'm not saying that I had, you know, large legal bills, but my lawyer in his office, he does have a lovely brass plaque with my name on it that says Platinum Donor. I like to look at it. I'm pretty lucky, you know, I, I found some great counselors, I got a great family doctor, and my wife, God bless her, you know, she's amazing. She promised me, as difficult as I am to live with, which I'm reminded of every day, <laughs> as difficult as I can be to live with, she will never, ever do anything to hurt me. She promises it will be in my sleep, and very, very quick. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks, Mom. Good night.